happening, my lovely, wonderful people? Alaji Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president of Nigeria, has sent a serious message to um, Senate requesting or making a demand for six years single tenure for president so that, you know, they don't have to stay there and have a recontest and, you know, all the things that follows. He said for him, he feels very strongly that if they have a single tenor, yes, they have a single tenor, and that tenor is for, you know, that tenor goes on and um, is for six years. People have enough time, ample time to be able to execute all that they have planned, you know, for that very, you know, for that very season. So you come prepared knowing you have six years, not that you finish four years and you are hoping for another four years. So you you move things to the next season. Forget what I mean. Some people will not work or they will work in the first tenor and do nothing in the second tenor. I think there is some sense in there. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Alaji Atikwa Bubaka writes Senate, demands six years single tenor for president. The former vice president, Alaji Atikwa Bubaka, has demanded an amendment to the constitution to allow a six year single tenor for the president and state governors. He made a demand in a letter addressed to the National Assembly. In a memo of memorandum, he said, This is, he said, this will give them enough time to focus. In a, in a memorandum to the Senate Committee on Constitutional Review, Atiku also provided enough evidence to say the presidency should be rotated between the North and the South, saying this will help and it will bring a bit of direction and succor to everyone as there will be more focus and determination with everyone knowing that there is time for everything. He stated, the office of the president should rotate among the six zoopolitical zones of the federation on a single tenor of six years, flowing between the north and the south on a single tenor of six years, respectively. Article urged the National Assembly to amend section 135, subsection 2, and reads, subject to the provision of section 1, and president should vacate his office at the expiration of period of six years. Additionally, he proposed the substitution of an, as, an aspir, aspiration in section 265, subsection 14A, with a vote. The former vice president also suggested that the minimum educational qualification for a person to run for, for election, for, to be elected to an office, should be the ordinary should be the ordinary national diploma instead of the senior school certificate. We think the diploma for such a high position is okay. He proposed an amendment to section 65, subsection 2A to read. He says, the being educated up to at least ordinary national diploma in any organized academics institution is okay. Furthermore, he recommended the inception of a paragraph in section 65, subsection 2A1, which reads, evidence of certificates of all educational qualification of a candidate should be subjected to the independent National Electoral Commission or an affidavit by the candidate in the event of loss of his or educational certificate qualification obtained. Dates starting the schools attended. Article advocate for political parties to have more power in the candidate selection process. He proposed an amendment to section 62, which read he is member of a political party whose name is in a register to be made available to his political party, to the Independent National Electoral Commission, 30 days before the conduct of political party primaries and is sponsored by the party. He said this will go ahead to bring further direction and give us a further focus and drive on all of this rather than leaving it vague and just assuming that a secondary school graduate is enough to lead the people where we have professors and other pedigrees of importance in the nation nigeria needs direction and we need it from minds who are ready into the first day century i think i think you have points in all of these um, matters you have related out there i think you have points that we should really look upon i think you have points because the truth of it is uh, we cannot um, we cannot continue in the same way that we have 
you know why they reduced the you know why they they said okay first of all it was primary six to lead a country where we have professors doctors okay you, you know people industries in different capacity you know leading on their own right you have a primary c certificate holder or someone that did not go to school being the highest person who goes to represent them internationally in today's 24th century where technology has moved that's what we are experiencing in nigeria so article article requesting that it should be the minimum of a diploma i think it's a good place to start minimum of a diploma is a very good place to start because we cannot continue with the same thing over and over and over again then expect a different result we need people who are vast okay who have the right mind first of all a, a passion a people's person passion for the job who are ready to take the bull by the horn and do all that is needed necessary to move us forward we need such kind of people we need people who have a heart for the job people who are who have been sold out completely who are ready you know to do what is necessary and needed to move this nation forward sitting back and just you know allowing things to stray will not move us anywhere so six years, one, one ten or six years, I think is good, you know, going around, go, going between the north and the south. And, you know, when, with, with that in mind, going through the six the political zone. So when is the south of the time of the south? We know, for instance, if southwest has produced a president, the next time when he gets to the south, it's going to be maybe the south-south. The other time is going to be the southeast. You get what I mean? If it's the north, northwest, northeast, and, you know, we just have it like that going on. I, I think that's a more better better approach to, to looking at things rather than leaving things vague and thinking all of a sudden they will straighten out. No, it doesn't work like that. People make things happen. People put their hands to work for the deed to be done. So you're just sitting back there and thinking that, you know, these things is just going to fall in place and uh, everything is just going to, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So there are all kinds of, you know, uh, information and, uh, you know, true uh, movement in terms of going forward and ensuring that things are done properly. It's, it's very important. It's very, very, very important. So every one of us have a duty to ensure that we rise up we put our hands to work and we do everything, humanly speaking, necessary to change the course of what is going on today. So Nigerians, uh, I think I buy the idea of what Atiku is saying. But again, is there a catch to it? Is there a catch? So you know politicians, that they do A to B, that they will get B. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.